Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Tempe, Arizona and Tempe Diablo Stadium, the wintertime home of the Anaheim Angels. Robbie West, along with Joe Andriano for Sports Cassette. Today at the 2001 NABA National Championships, it's the Lowell's Catcher's Mitt out of Massachusetts, and they'll do battle against the Cal Novato Buffaloes. 7 o'clock game here in the main stadium is between the Cal Novato Buffaloes and the Lowell Catcher's Mitt. Dave Donahue to start things off. Lowell Catcher's Mitt, decked out in the green and orange uniforms. These guys are the pride of New England, and they'll be challenged today by the Colorado Buffaloes. Robbie West along with Joe Andriano for Sports Cassette Productions. And this is the NABA World Series National Championship Tournament. Pretty good shot of Dave. It's the leadoff hitter, the table setter. Takes that pitch in the dirt. <laughs> Couldn't ask for better weather here at Tempe Diablo Stadium. I-10 in the background. This one back against the screen. Big 2-0 back in the Valley of Sun. Trying to make something happen here in a big stadium game. Last year in the stadium game, this guy had a couple of big base hits. One out here in the top of the first. Here on that one, usually it's straight up. Pitcher will direct traffic. This time, Brault took it himself like an option quarterback. <laughs> Take up 23, Steve, Steve Martirano, Italiano. Bouncer over to short, long peg by Donahue. He gets him. Good play in the hole there. Donahue looked like singles. And Martirano pitched to him as a strike. Just to recap, this all started after a short fly to short, which was caught. And then Freeman singled. Mark Stahl reached base on an error, and then Brault singled home. Kurt Wynn, who's running for Freeman. Matt Pitch evens up the count, one ball, one strike. On deck is uh, Cotton, Cedric Cotton Ware. Goes by the nickname Cotton. Swinging strike, that one dropped by Foster, but he's gonna tag him. Wait, wait a minute, that's strike two. Correction. And that one ground ball handled. They're going to go to second for one and then, oh, dropping the ball and having a tough time out there. Uh, the new shortstop, Feria, and they were going to go. That was another possibility end, ending, ending double play. So um, Kevin Fleming, the pitcher, fields that ball. Smartly wanted to erase the lead runner there. He uh, wanted to erase Brawl. Glover bats from the left side. Fleming's delivery, and that one slapped. And uh, is it? No, looks like he had it, but it was a good effort there. He drops it. It actually fell in front of him. And Martirano scores from third. And it's a six to three, make that a six to two game. We'll have to wait and see how they score that one officially. Marturano in the batter's box. Takes low on the slider. Fleming checks the runner. Runner's at the corners. Little dribbler by Steve, just in front of the low old dugout. K 
catcher's mitt on defense. Nice bit of hitting right there. Went with the pitch. Martirano knocks it into right. One run will score. And into third base now is Brault. RBI base hit. Martirano. Cedric Ware stands in. Joe Davis behind 0-2. Guys, this one playable. Third baseman calls. Nice catch to retire the side. Seventh inning stretch. Tempe Diablo Stadium. Eight to four. Cal Nevada has got mass doubled up. So, Mark Tirano up solving on at first on the infield single. First pitch to number 23, Steve Martirano. It's ball one. Cedric Ware on deck. That one low, taking second without a throw is Solvang. You steal it. One ball, one strike. High. Outside, two and one. Pleasant evening here at Tempe Diablo Stadium, spring training home of the California Angels. That one rifle shot up the middle beyond second. Scoring on the play is going to be Stahl, and also scoring from second is Solvang. Single by Martirano. Plating two runners. You get two RBIs on that hit. Takes a strike, makes it three and one. Good piece of two out hitting here by the Buffaloes. That one up the middle by Ware. And over to second, stopping is Martirano. An unusual coming up. It's a ground ball. Second baseman has trouble with it, and he's going to beat it out. Scoring on the play. So all this has been going on here. With two away. Marcherano scores. Keith now. And Joe Davis up. But Davis hit. All right, Davis swing line shot over to third, gloving that one. Nice play there for uh, Cal Nevada Martorano. For Rob number one, and I think Robbie for sitting in for me for a while while I had to do some related. One two delivery. Bouncer back to first. This will end it. And that'll do it as the score low comes up short as Cal Nevada Buffaloes defeat Lowell, Massachusetts by a score of 11 to 8. Foster grounds out. Pitzer to first. And it was a great, well played game. A lot of offense in this one, a lot of hustle. Well, you felt like Lowell had a chance, and they absolutely did there in the last half inning. But you got to give a lot of credit to Pagnazzi and the defense behind him to get Buffalo out of that tough jam because the first two guys got on base. But as they say, it's all history now as the Buffaloes took care of business. And they buffaloed their way through, and they were hard charging. Two in the first, four in the fourth, two in the fifth, three in the seventh, and some great hitting by Freeman, Brault, Martirano. I mean, just too numerous to mention. And over on the Lowell side, Barry Foster was a standout, uh, getting two hits, scoring two runs. Wood had a run scored. John Johansson brothers, they came up big, but just came up a little short. Once again, the final score in this one, 
It is Cal Novato Buffalo's 11, Lowell, Massachusetts, 8. I'm Joe Andrews.